Hey everyone, welcome to Venture Forward. This is a quick update following Overland Expo West 2023. I just got back from the event and my dad's flying in this week because it's been exactly one year since my mom's passing. So we're gonna spend some time together. I'm gonna show him more of the area. So this week has mostly been spent preparing for his visit and I can't wait to see him. Overland Expo West was a great time and if you've never been there before, it's an industry event for overland travel, showcases, people, uh, adventures, and interesting new equipment. I didn't come away empty-handed, I'm always on the lookout for little things. Things that sort of slip under the radar but make your experience even better out there in the field. A friend of mine, Justin Pitcairn, always has an eye out for this stuff too. And he pulled me aside and said, Chris, you have to check this out. And this is not remotely product placement or anything. This is just something that I saw. I thought, oh, this is inexpensive and it's really useful. So I should share this. But what caught my eye was this. Let me see. What's this called? I'm going to look at their website really quick. This is the rope roller. And what it is, is a very sturdy, simple, spring-loaded clip that has a pulley on the end of it with a rope latch lock. So as far as my use case goes, I thought, what a great way to stake down the awning and tension it with a guy line. Just give it a tug, there it is, nice and taut. I made some headway tidying up the garage this week. Up until now, it's been pretty much an overflow for our belongings, but now things are starting to make sense. It's becoming usable. I can walk around, things nice and tidy, fluids. Got my tool bag that I carry with me in the Jeep, and looks like an old filing cabinet. I've been using this for bulky tools. It can finally start tinkering with the Land Rover again, I think, because he can move around in here. There's not much oil on the cardboard under the Defender, which I think is weird, so I'm worried that it's out. That is the first thing I need to check before I try to drive it again. Honestly, the oil is less than the high mark. Right, so I'll leave that be. I think I'm good on oil for now. I don't think this is going to start. It's been a couple months and these uh, LED outlets aren't even illuminated. Dead. Dead, 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 dead. That's good. Give it a try. What the heck was that? <laughs> Everything was fine for a minute. I think it's running on just zero volts. I mean, the battery is dead, dead. So as soon as I disconnected the thing, it said, nah, I'm not firing. All right, try that again. Plot twist, the Land Rover's hemorrhaging diesel at the fuel rail. I'm gonna put a wrench on it and see if maybe it's just a simple thing, I don't know. 
and I need new cardboard that isn't doused in diesel fuel. That could be the problem. There's a rupture on this fuel line right here. Unless I just did that by pulling it off, but I'm not sure. I just got back from Napa and got some fuel hose. It looks like a close match. So I'm going to pop some of this in and if it's still spewing after this, then I've got something else going on. Three lengths, cut to four and a half inches. Oh, little bit hard to reach. There's one. There's two. There's three. One eighth inch fuel hose from Napa. I got five feet of it and this is absolutely going into my spares box in the back of the Defender. That fuel leak scared the crap out of me at first, but so far it took maybe $10 to fix and 15 minutes. My goal with the Defender is to get it trail worthy because I need to drop RNG off at the shop. RNG's running great, but there's still something going on in the front end. It's clicking, popping, clunking, and it's wandering all over the highway. I don't know. I think it's just a matter of 207,000 miles, but I'm wondering if the front axle and steering components need an overhaul. I hope not. But the van, the Winnebago Revel, is ready to go. So I'm looking forward to getting back out there in the field in the van again soon. I'll be out in the field next week exploring and recording an adventure for sure. For right now, I'm going to spend some time with my dad. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next week.